Mike in Maspeth. Mike. Hey, how's it going, Michael? Good. How are you? I'm good. Uh, I'm just here with my brother, Frank. Uh, you know, we were just talking all about Jazz Chisholm with number 13. Uh, I honestly uh, personally think that that number should be retired. And uh, so I don't really like Jazz taking that number. Well, I mean, that, that's, that's an interesting discussion. Uh, I'm sure that Alex would like it to be retired. But it's <laughs> awfully hard uh, to get up from the fact that he was going to sue the team. I mean, it's, it would have to be a, this grand gesture by Hal Steinberger to forget about all the things that, that Alex did. Now, do I think that Alex is sorry he did those things? Yeah, I do. But, I mean, there's a lot of baggage with that, too. He, he, got, he's, he, he got suspended for a year for PED use. So it's awfully hard. It's awfully hard for them to justify, you know, retiring that number. Now, if you just look at that number and go, based on production, of course. He's better than a lot of the guys that have their numbers retired. He's one of the greatest players of all time. But you can't separate his greatness from the fact that he got suspended for a year for PEDs. And when he got suspended, he was prepared to sue the team. And then later on admit it, you know, I was wrong and it just took his punishment. I think he's changed. Uh, you know, I worked with him closely for two years. I get it. But, I mean, to get that number retired, I, I, I know Alex would love it. I just don't see it happening, Peter. I don't. And it's not based on his production because as a, as a baseball player, he's unbelievable. 696 home runs, three-time MVP. They don't win the 2009 World Series without him. 14-time All-Star. He's one of the greatest players who ever lived. But it's hard to say that stuff and not say, also... Got suspended for a year. So, I, I, I mean, I don't know why it answered. Now, if you want to hold the number in abeyance, that's one thing. But to put it on the wall, I, I don't know if that's going to happen. The problem is that, Michael, there's so many different things sort of working against Alex with the number. But you have, you, obviously, there are people who could just question, you know, was he a great enough Yankee? I think the answer is yes. Um, obviously, he's a major part of their last World Series. Um, he's an icon in baseball. Obviously, he's one of the greatest play players who's ever lived. But then you have the steroid questions. Then you have the not even after his. Sorry, sorry. You have the the, the steroid in facts, um, and then you have the you know the relationship with the team after the fact. Now, here's my question: Is it too late? Is is there? Is, is it a sorry doesn't fix the lamp situation? Like, is it possible that a couple years from now, even if other people have worn the number, that the relationship warms and they go, you know what, it's time? Yeah, it could happen. I'm not, I, I mean, if you asked me to bet, I would bet that it wouldn't, but I'm not saying that it's impossible because I've heard uh, nothing official yet, but old timers say at the end of the month, I think it's on the 24th of August, Peter, and they're celebrating mm -hmm. the 15th anniversary of the last World Series. And I've heard from people that Alex is going to be here. So, I mean, if he gets introduced, right, and they, there's this, this huge ovation from the crowd, I mean, that could change a lot. Remember, Paul O'Neill waited 20 years to get his number retired. 20 years. He won four World Series with them. So, yeah, I, I wouldn't say, I, never say never. Never say never. Joe in New Jersey. Joe. Michael, Joe, Papa Joe, how are you? Good. What's up, Joe? I love you. I love you guys. You guys do a great job. Two things. Gleyber Torres, he's just not dependable, and he doesn't project a New York Yankee. It's just what it is. If you're, if you're bringing up kids, you don't want them to play like that. You want them to play like somebody else. That's just Gleyber Torres. He's just the way he shrugs his shoulders and everything. But the main reason why I called was because A-Rod. A-Rod's maybe, one, maybe the, one of the top 50 players that ever played the game. Might he was be one incredible. of the top five. Yeah, 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 exactly. And he was suspended only because information was leaked out about, and you can help me with this, I'm not sure of the details, it was about 150 ballplayers took this super, super confidential thing and nobody was going to ever, but A-Rod was the only one that got leaked out. Big Poppy was involved in that. He but he, did didn't, the get, there no, were Joe, but he didn't get suspended because of that list. He got suspended because of the, um, the involvement with Miami, with biogenesis. That was leaked out. So it wasn't as if he ever failed the test, but he was obviously buying um, PEDs from this guy. So it was a it was an anecdotal trail 
uh, and they presented it to him, and he said it wasn't true, but they, they knew that it was true, and that's why they suspended. It had nothing to do with the list. If it had to do with the list, well, well then Big, Big Poppy would have been suspended. And since that list has been leaked, I think, to the New York Times, the commissioner of baseball, Rob Manfred, refuses to taint the career of David Ortiz and saying, you know, it could have been wrong. It could have been a, a bad test. So I don't think – and no one on that list got punished. No one. That's not why A-Rod got suspended. He got suspended because of the situation with the guy down in Miami. There was a paper trail – where this guy gave him up to save his own hide. You know, it was sloppy. Alex got sloppy. And that's why he ended up getting suspended. I think it was for like 215 games, and then it, and it got cut down to a year. You know, if he doesn't get suspended, Peter, he finishes with about 725 home runs. Probably takes a run at Bonds, too, if he, does, if he never gets suspended, if he doesn't have the hip injury either. So, I mean, 696 looks great. But if he doesn't have the hip injury and he never got suspended, he might be the all-time home run leader. Yeah. one 800 There's no. What was that? No, there's just there's no arguing with the player part. No, that, the that's player's not in the conversation. Unbelievable. Player's unbelievable.